Hey everyone, I have a really simple and fun design for you this week and it has all kinds of possibilities depending on what kind of colors you choose for your dots. I'm going to be using my favorite dotting tool set for this design and there's a link in the description. I love these because there's two different sizes on each dotting tool. I was going for a nice bright design on this one so these are the colors I chose but you could choose any combination you like. I'm also going to use this chalk pencil to line out the initial design. This is a homemade stone from Gypsum Cement. There's a link in the description and also if you click in the upper right hand corner it'll take you to another video to show you how to make these. We're going to take the chalk pencil and a large dotting tool and outline the two circles to start. Then we're going to take the pencil and do kind of that S that finishes off the yin yang design. I'm going to start with my number four size dotting tools and then alternate the colors to fill in the border around both of our circles and then that center S line. I'm going to take some random sized dotting tools, large and small, to make some dotted flowers in the areas that will be filled in and also using a fine line paintbrush to draw those dots into the center of the flower. And then I will go back at the end and fill in the center dot again. I'm going to do the same thing on this side of the design and add some larger dotted flowers. Use the fine paintbrush to pull those dots into the center of the flower and we'll go back after everything's dry and fill in that center of the flower again. And then just to add a little embellishment, you can add additional colors to your flowers. You can leave them as dots. You can draw those dots down towards the center of the flower. It's whatever you choose to do. And now we're going to start with a larger dotting tool, the number six, and start with each color and kind of randomly placing the dots. And you can work your way down to the smaller dotting tools until you have completely filled in the design. Thank you. 
and here's our finished product. It turned out so cute. There's also a couple of other options that I've done with different color schemes just to give you an idea of how you can play around with the colors. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little alert bell so you don't miss any future uploads. See you next time!